Hi guys, this is Spook, and in today's video I'm just going to be going over a comment that was left on my last video asking me to make a certain circuit for him. Um, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you how I've wired up my base this way. So I've got two turbines on the roof, I'll just jump up there now, along with eight solar panels. So I've got four facing eastwards and the other four facing to the west. And it all kind of feeds down into one room through here. So everything you can see now is the uh, the turbine side of the circuit and all of this mess here is for the solar panels. You've got so many combiners because I've combined all eight into one down here which goes into this battery and that circuit is powering the lights throughout the base and the other circuit is powering uh, quite a few door controllers that the main switch is in the main loot room just there. So I'll show you how the um, how I've got the lights wired up. You've got most of them on at the minute. I don't think the sun's quite in its optimal position yet to put them all on. So the base is probably 80% lit up. This is an extension of our shop. I've also changed my resolution recording settings for this video so can you let me know if it's any better. Um, one guy did comment that it looked like I had motion blur on, but I found out that that was my previous video recording software that was doing that. So I've changed, and I've also changed the editing software as well, so hopefully it won't appear as squished this time. Okay, so as in my infinite power video, I've got this light circuit set up on this battery, so even though the lights are on, the battery's still charging very slowly because they're off the solar panels and during the day not every light will be working so there'll be one here, here, I don't think any in here are working uh, the loot room one should be on, well, that one's not but I've got a switch in this circuit that puts it straight onto battery power which will turn everyone on Okay, so the last of the lights are now going to go out, and this should be the last one. Okay, and in a few moments the whole bay should just come, come back to life. There you go. Okay, and this section of the video is for a commenter called Evan. He's asked, how can I open a large gate from inside my base, i.e. a tower? So what I've done, I've made up a wall and put a gate in, and it's got a door controller on the right there, if you can see it, here, which is linked to the gate. Remember, the gate has to be open for you to link it. Remember to lock your doors as well and up the top here, which for argument's sake is your tower, we've got a timer or a switch. You can use either of these depending on what you want to do, but in this case I've wired up a timer. So the output goes down to that door controller and the input is just from a power source. It could be a splitter, it could be whatever, straight from the battery. And you just turn it on and the gate will open. This is set to 10 seconds, so as soon as that reaches zero, the light will go red and the gate will automatically shut. Now if you want to open for 10 minutes, set your time, or just wire it into a switch and remember to turn it off to shut your door, you can also power it from a pressure pad just by hooking it up to the toggle on part of the switch. But it all just depends on, on what you want it for really. And he's also asked how can you set up a battery bank, now by that I mean quite a few batteries charging at the same time. So I've got four turbines up on the roof. Ignore my messy wiring, It was I've just thrown this together quite quickly. So two of the turbines come into this combiner and the other two come into this one. Both of these combiners come into this one which feeds into a splitter and that splitter just feeds each battery. So you've got three charging batteries, one here, here and here. This one's a bit lower because I've been using it to do things. Um, and this is just the infinite power circuit 
which is uh, I've made a video on that as well. So currently this circuit is powering the two switches upstairs, the pressure pad and the door controller over there and yet the battery is still charging. There you go, because the turbines are still spinning. And I hope that's uh, what you meant when you asked battery bank. You could put six batteries in there, but the more batteries you put in without more turbines and separate circuits, the slower these are going to ch charge, you know. And solar panels charging these kinds of batteries, um, you need a lot of them to make the most out of the, the sunlight, really. So I'll leave the video there for today. Thank you all for watching. You know, did you feel liked it? And I'll see you next time.